Hello friends the main purpose of rock anchors is to improve the stability and safety of rock slope and avoid its movement you can see in this picture a hole is drilled in a rock a steel rod is inserted in that hole and the hole is filled with cement grout up to a certain depth a steel plate is fixed on top of that rod and that rod is stressed This is the process of rock anchoring. The depth and position of rock anchor depends on type of soil or rock. The size of bar depends on design load. Rock anchors are used in retaining wall, diaphragm wall. They are also used for resisting uplift forces on basements and other foundations, for stabilizing slopes and landslides, to provide tie backs. in bridges for strengthening masonry and concrete dams and to secure surface in mines and tunnels or to secure structures against forces from wind or vibrating machinery now let us understand components of rock anchor in detail the basic components of rock anchors include the anchorage unbonded length and bond length The anchorage is the combined system of anchor head, bearing plate and trumpet. The unbonded length, also known as free stressing length or free length. This portion of rod is free to elongate elastically and transfers the resisting force from the bond length to the structure. The bonded length, also known as fixed length or tendon bond length or anchor bond length. it is bonded to the grout and it is capable of transmitting the applied tensile load into the ground the sheath is a smooth or corrugated pipe that protects the pre stressing steel in the unbonded length from corrosion tendon is a steel bar or strands that is grouted in a pre drilled hole in a rock or soil bar tendons are commonly available in 26 mm 32 mm 36 mm 45 mm and 64 mm diameters in uncoupled lengths up to approximately 18 meter for lengths greater than 18 meter couplers may be used to extend the tendon length centralizers position the tendon in a drilled hole such that the specified minimum grout cover is achieved around the tendon For multiple element tendons spacers are used to separate the strands or bars of the tendons so that each element is adequately bonded to the anchor grout spacers and centralizers should be made of non corrosive materials and be designed to permit free flow of grout spacer or centralizer units are placed at regular intervals typically 3 meter along the anchor bond zone The grout is a cement based mixture that provides load transfer from the tendon to the ground and provides corrosion protection for the tendon. For some projects special additives may be required to improve the fluid flow characteristics of the grout. Plasticizers may be beneficial for applications in high temperature and for long grout pumping distances. In case of rock anchors the fixed length is anchored in the hard rock whereas in case of soil anchors the fixed length is anchored in the soil the anchors which are provided vertically into the ground are called as vertical anchors and the anchors which are provided at an angle into the ground are called as inclined anchors so friends this was the basic information for rock anchors see you in the next video thanks for watching